after a long night of searching for five-year-old Janessa Alain, who many feared drowned in the nearby river in Karapal village, Irene, seeing the child in the arms of her rescuers was nothing short of a miracle. Janessa, who is autistic and doesn't speak, was reported missing around 5 p.m. on Friday. She had been visiting her grandmother for a few days. I was inside. And she father was outside with her. He was bathing and she was on the back porch, lying down, clapping and singing. Afterwards, he in here, he clap. So he called me and said, Mommy, Janessa, would you? I said, no, she's not with you. He said, no, and he's, one time, you go on looking for, you go on looking for her. When the child was reported missing, relatives joined members of the fire service, TTPS, and search and rescue teams to look for her. After taking a short coffee break early on Saturday morning, the hunter's search and rescue team decided to split up in hopes of covering a greater area, a decision that paid off. We decided to walk the river bank. From one side of the river bank, we were able to spot something in pink on the other side. So we turned back, we crossed the river mouth, and when we went, we found Janessa lying down. Um, I could you know, we didn't think she was alive. And then when we, she, we woke, she woke up and then started to cry and we just grabbed her. Um, she couldn't get reception there. We just grabbed her, came back down, run down the, ran down the beach with her. Leader of the team, Valence Rambarat, told us why the fact that Janessa is alive is a miracle. It meant that she would have traveled very quickly, eight kilometers, um, downstream to end up where we found her and for a human being to be in the water for that for let's see because it's estimated that you could survive three to four minutes it gives you an idea of how fast the river was moving and how quickly she covered eight kilometers. Mr. Rambrat paid tribute to his team of experienced searchers for the rescue who in turn stated who they believe is the real hero. So today really is a day where we have to give thanks and praise to God for his miracle and for those who think that God is not real. <laughs> this morning we had proof that he's real. Reunited with her family, the little girl was taken to hospital to be medically examined. So God bless all you. Stacey Ann Providence, TDT News.